Good day, YouTube. Today is uh, Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit dark in here. We're in the Scooby-Doo van, my mobile DJ rig, and uh, working on... What are we working on today? Well, this is my wireless microphone. It is a ElectroVoice. It's the RE2 series with ClearScan. Um, if you're not familiar with the ClearScan, when you get where you're going whatever venue or event, uh, you hit the scan button and it will scan all of its frequencies and not only lock onto a clear frequency, but lock onto the best frequency. And then you pop your microphone open, uh, just screw the cap off there, and you just match the channel that it says on the display. If I can get that to focus, there it is. So once you match the numbers, you're synced up and the microphone works great. This is I've had this microphone for many years. I do mostly car shows outside events. I need one that'll do a long range because my van is my central where everything is, where the music begins and the mixer and this has three amplifiers. I have a transmitter up there that I can transmit out to uh, other amplifiers so i have receivers other amplifiers other sets of speakers not uncommon for me now to have my van plus two remotes with a total of like 14 speakers at an event but when i get to this event i don't just leave my receiver for my wireless microphone inside the van it is a metal van so i reach up through that little window up there and i set it up on the roof which is exposing a rather expensive wireless microphone receiver to the elements. And it does rain. And I come running back and I put it inside and so that it doesn't get wet. It gets up there, it gets dirty, it gets scuffed up. And yes, one time I return from a local event with that still on the roof. Thank goodness it didn't fall. Um, I was like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I did it. Yep, I did it. So anyway, I grabbed it up and set it back down in here, but I drove for miles with that on the roof. So what I would like to do is correct that. And I've been trying to do a little research. I've been trying to buy another antenna. Uh, I have that FM transmitter antenna connected to, sorry, it's going to be dark in there. So up there on that little show, that FM transmitter and that thing works fabulously i like it so i'm good to go there now i wanted an external antenna or antennas for my wireless microphone to be permanently installed on the exterior of the van connected through to the interior of the van like i'll probably actually put it in that location to get those antennas as far as part as i can but nobody really makes one they make directional antennas that are designed to be inside and direct all of the antenna uh, waves towards a stage. Why well, I don't have a stage, I wander around. So between songs, I'll do little uh, ads for, you know, just little uh, announcements and we'll announce that, you know, the 50-50 tickets or, you know, that we've made a raffle drawing or awards at two o'clock or something like that so i'd make a lot of announcements between the songs i don't stop the music i just let the music go but there's that you know 10 seconds between songs that you can use for those announcements and i do that and i could be anywhere and i just stop wait for the song to end or just about end get my announcement in well <clears throat> that directional antenna just doesn't work for that but during my research, I have uh, dis learned that these two itty-bitty antennas that are on this receiver, can you see those there? Those are quarter-wave antennas. And you can do an upgrade to that and buy half-wave antennas, a little taller. I guess they work a little different. And some of the other antennas that I have seen uh, have one antenna that is vertical and one antenna that is horizontal. And that's the way it puts the waves out. So those antennas are redundant to each other, so they work separately yet 
together. And from the again the research that I did, which wasn't extensive, says that if you put one horizontal, one vertical, then you'll get better coverage. And I'm looking for omnidirectional. I need 360 degrees of antenna around my van because I could be anywhere with the microphone. And of course the goal is to not set the receiver on the roof anymore. So here is what I have come up with. I bought two half wave antennas and two uh, 18 inch pieces of coax. I went to, where can I set this? I'll set that right there. And I went down to the big box Home Depot and just got a regular uh, reinforced shelf bracket. And this is what I have put together. So I'm going to bolt this to the top of the van on the other side. I'm going to bolt it uh, with this mounting hole here uh, at nearly the roof line. And I'll have two good screws to go into the camper top on the van. And then I'll have six inches or so above the van to where this top bracket is. And I've mounted a, an additional bracket there for a horizontal antenna and a vertical antenna. So that's the plan. It says my battery's low. Let's get plugged in here. Uh, so there we go. That's what I'm going to do. I'll come back uh, after I do an event and give you a follow-up video of just how well this works. I know how far I can go with my microphone, and I can go a long ways. I can go long enough to where you get a half a second delay between when you speak and when you hear yourself speak, uh, which is a little weird if you've never done it. But I'll get this thing mounted, and I'll take it. Uh, I've got a car show coming up here in a couple of weeks, and uh, we'll try it out and see how it works. And I'll come back and could do a follow-up video. So, so you can see 18-inch coax. I bought that ready-made uh, on eBay. The two half-wave antennas, uh, again, mounted one horizontal and one vertical, uh, kind of right in the center there. So I think it'll look okay. But looks this really isn't that important to me. It's functionality and not setting my receiver on the roof anymore. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're probably not going to mount it today. We'll probably do it tomorrow. But I got it all put together today. And uh, that's my ElectroVoice RE2 quick scan wireless antenna. Uh, a little upgrade to my receiver there. And uh, I'm looking forward to... Uh, many, many uh, car shows this year and years to come with uh, keeping my equipment in good condition, not subject it to rain, dirt, and uh, falling off my roof. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe, and we'll uh, catch you on the next one.